Hello my soccer universe and welcome to part four, the final part of this year's uh, women's Euro jersey review. I haven't worn this Italy jersey in a long time. Actually, I miss it in a way <laughs> doing it. I chose it because the color of uh, this uh, year's women's jersey, also the men's jersey, is very similar to this blue. So yeah, we talk about uh, Group uh, D here, which uh, is maybe one of those that, that might be a little bit overlooked. We have the four teams uh, over me, which is of course France, we have Italy, we have Belgium and we have Iceland in there. Uh, it's probably the one group where there's not really a clearly worse team, at least from the onset in there. But by the time that this posts, you already know a whole lot more about this one. So. Uh, will be interesting for sure. So, how are we gonna do this review? Well, uh, as for the other videos, I went to Footy Headlines with a really nice um, page with all the jerseys uh, from this year's Women's Euro. I collected them all, I sorted them by the seeding, and we'll go run through these uh, jerseys uh, in the reverse order of the seeding. So we'll start off with Iceland and we will end with France in between. And I will tell you what I think about these jerseys. I had dish out some grades between 1 and 10, 1 being the worst, 10 being, of course, the best. And yeah, we'll see if I will actually dish out a 10 for these women's euros, because so far only Finland got 9s, but two of them. So uh, that's also something interesting. I would say we'll start with Iceland, uh, which is one of the two Puma teams. And as I said in previous videos for Puma, Footy Headline says it's not quite clear whether they will use the men's or the women's version. That's why I put the men's version up here. However, I have not rated this one. I'm not going to do it now. We'll go straight to, to the women's version, which is very, very similar, except that the dark stripe is um, replaced with a stripe with this rose pattern, which comes, of course, uh, from the Liberty collaboration. My only gripe with this idea is that those jerseys sell for 150 euros, which makes no sense to me whatsoever. But that's the only gripe. I have to say for Iceland, first of all, this is actually the first time that I can talk on this channel about the new Iceland crest. If you look here, the 2018 Iceland jersey, jersey I always disliked kind of the Icelandic crest, it seemed a little bit, you know, not of this time. So they updated this one and it looks really, really awesome. You have a giant in there with a dragon in there, with an eagle in there, we have a bull in there, all great. The only gripe I have is that it's monochromatic. If you make this diagonal, if you put some red in there, then you have an Icelandic flag in there as well. And I have done a picture, I'll show you here as well, uh, that really would hit the point home. Yeah, we are from Iceland and we are friggin' awesome. Uh, it's also, I'm a little bit missing Iceland. Yes, uh, the men seem, it was bound to go down, to be honest, because, you know, on a, such a small nation, they cannot sustain it. But uh, the women have been doing overall decent, not having as big of a dent as the men's team, but the women's team has always been hanging around. Back to the jersey. Uh, it takes a classic Icelandic colors. Uh, you know, uh, we would expect a blue jer a jersey. There's nothing really exciting about design because you know the bar, but at least there's a flower pattern on there, which, as I said in previous videos, I really like for women's uh, jerseys to add a little bit of floral pattern. Yes, is it gender stereotyping? Probably. But on the other side, when I show this to the women of my household, they really like that stuff. So uh, there is something about it. Again, the price tag is ridiculous. The I would wish maybe a little bit more red, red in there. I think of all the Puma uh, Liberty jerseys that have been released, this is probably the most boring one in a way. But I still think it's all right. But would I give it more than the ostrich jersey? For sure not. And when the ostrich, um, here the placement of the logos is better. The ostrich jersey a little bit more design ele elements, but you know it's the same one. I would say uh, six stars here. The away jersey is the same as the men have been using, which is actually uh, interesting. I have to say, I really, uh, you know, there is kind of this glacier and a little bit of lava flow if you put the right interpretation in it. Uh, you know, the home jersey was, of course, a blue one uh, with the reverse of the colors. I really like how the crest pops here again. If this diagonal would have the red, I think it would look even better. Uh, but this is a decent jersey. 
I gotta say, uh, it's more interesting than the home jersey. Uh, but um, does it lift it above? Uh, I mean, given how great Iceland jerseys have been, I still think ideally it would have here some Iceland, um, Icelandic um, flag detail. Uh, maybe I still I'm also gonna give the six stars, although I like it a smidgen more than the other one. Going over to Belgium, where we have the Adidas idea from before, and I repeat myself, we take a plain jersey, we add everything sans and trust, we have a thick color, and yeah, that's that. And for Belgium, we decide we ditch the traditional red for a home color and make it a black jersey. Interesting, the men have been very, very good as well. Now, I do not dislike black for Belgium. Don't get, get, get wrong, I actually think it would be a really great color for an away jersey. Uh, Fanta I realize that this 2000 Bel Belgian jersey is a uh, low nine, I think it's very much of the same ilk as this one. I think overall this is not a bad one. Again, a bad look. I, as much as we can slam Adidas for not being very creative, um, for a national team jersey, it's oddly enough works. You don't want to have much fan and fancy stuff. Um, but then the black is, this is not a home jersey. For me, this screams every bit of a white jersey. In many ways, I wanna see my red devils. Maybe the uh, the um, devils. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. Maybe they'll also the other black witches. I don't know what Bella Bella Belgian is doing. Uh, as an away jersey, this would be awesome. As a home jersey, it's a little bit, you know, uh, you miss the point of the whole thing. And I guess therefore we cannot go really high. I still wanna give it actually because um. If I had a lineup of all the Adidas home jerseys, I would go as far to say that this is my pick. Uh, but then, you know, the Germany jersey was so classic German uh, that I cannot go above that for sure. Uh, this is not an eight star. I'm struggling to make this a seven. I also gonna stick this with a six. Now, uh, where I think they really missed the train is the away jersey, <sighs> monochromatic crest. When it's already uh, golden, it takes all the life out of this jersey. This one is just plain boring. The light yellow also doesn't do anything. Yes, yellow for Belgium makes a whole lot of sense. It's one of the national colors. It just doesn't work for me. I really have to, have to, I have to say this is one of the uh, worst ones. This is right there with Spain. And I have to say, thanks to the crest looking absolutely ridiculous on this one, I'm gonna go too because there is literally no effort. You see, the same template with the right colors can elevate a jersey like it did for Sweden uh, and to some degree Germany, Germany. For Belgium and Spain, it just does not work. Okay, let's go to a little bit more exciting jerseys overall and we'll go to Italy. Here first, the Italy home jersey for the man which has divided opinions. Uh, something about it that I do like and enjoy. I like the color, but I'm not going to give it a rating yet. It's also the last time that we will see this rather nice crest because uh, Italy is going to switch over to Adidas. And they're going to make a new crest which doesn't look as good as this one. But let's go to the, to the women's version, which again, we have the Liberty treatment and we have a rose pattern on it. And it makes it even more pleasing. Now, uh, would it be nice if the men's jersey would have had a renaissance pattern instead of the just quartered look? Probably. Now, the best part of this jersey are the is the font used for the numbers, which is this uh, old style 3D font in golden. That is awesome. Uh, the second part that I really, really, really love, and I cannot overstate this, it is a classic Italy color. Now, would be better to have a fold over, but I absolutely love a blue collar with the flag trim around it. But why don't we get this on the sleeves as well? That would elevate this jersey to the next level to me. But having it there on the collar, really fine. Now the blue collar, it's more like this one and then a little bit of darker. Yeah, I agree with you. I think there have been more pleasing shades of blue for Italy. Uh, it is not, uh, it does not scream Italy to me. Like, uh, this jersey never screamed Italy to, to, to me, although it has a, it says Italia on, on there. So this is basically the down, uh, turn. Again, I really like the floral pattern on, on there. It adds something to, to this jersey. The man jersey, I mean, the man jersey is very rigid. There's some playfulness in there. 
And so I'm getting around to give this jersey actually, I think it's over. There, there are more things that I like than I dislike. Yes, it's maybe a tad to plain, and yes, the blue color is a little bit off. And maybe, maybe, but you know, if I look at my favorite Italy jersey in 1999, the one which is hanging right, right, right there, we have the same Italy flag here. Although I realize now, <laughs> uh, I have to take it down because uh, I need to make a point. <laughs> Do you see here on this one? We have the Italian flag go blue, then we have red, white, a green. So the green is outside, and that one, the red is outside, and that looks better. Okay, I I am slowly convincing myself that I should not go uh, as wacko with this one. I'm still gonna give this seven stars, which is definitely not something that I will be able to give to the away jersey, which is the same one used at the Euros uh, last season. Last year, I just hate it, and I've poured all my hate over in the video up there. No need to talk anything more about this and go to something really, really pleasing France. The French women, I would argue, this is the most spectacular jersey released. Finland runs it close. This one takes the Renaissance jersey that Italy has released uh meanwhile three years ago and takes it up a notch makes it and i think for a man's jersey i actually would hate this but for a women's jersey this just works what also works for me is that while france and on the men's side have been really really strong now going more on a navy look i actually really like that they're going more back to the royal blue for the women and Nike has not forgotten to add a little bit red. Yes, the collar on the back looks a little bit... Uh, I don't like this type of collar. However, I am very willing to overlook this one. I think there is a whole lot of style in there. This is pure class. This is whatever, you know... For a man's jersey, no. For a women's jersey, Kiss. Absolutely, 100%. This is a winner. And I, I really like the red side strap. Again, the collar, if you put the red back there, make it maybe white on front to have a little bit more French flag or, the, or just keep it all blue, I think it will, will be fine. With, uh, the detail is not necessarily needed. I just have to have, have say the moment I saw this and, and I just went with my little daughter um, through this, 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 this one and you know, she was da, da, da. when she saw this one, wow! This looks awesome. It looks awesome. And so, the rum roll, I'm gonna give this 10 stars. I think this is where Nike did a really, really good job. Um, I think this is the best jersey at this year's Euros. Now, the away jersey, um, teeny bit of a downer. Very much like the one used at the last Euros for the men. It's very white. But what's missing here is completely the French jersey because all this rose gold. Uh, you know, the French team had at least a French flag, I think, back there a little bit on the inside. Then we had the French flag running down our sides, which actually looked look nice. And then the uh, rooster was in a navy. I don't mind the, um, the rose gold rooster. I think that one looks nice. But I think if you just take the sides and make a French flag out of that, it would make the jersey a whole lot, a lot better. This one goes more in a chance missed part. Put even the same, uh, is it on there? No. Put the same floral pattern uh, on this one on a white jersey and you would have a winner. Put the same pattern on, 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 on there, you know, white and grayish, it would look fine. I think this would make this jersey look a whole lot better. In that case, yeah, nice, but... Doesn't cut it over, overall, and so this is only a uh, five, and it's also, I think, an all white uniform. Doesn't do it for me. Goes a little bit like the England way, although a tad more class than the England jerseys had. And that is it. We had all the have all the jerseys reviewed. Uh, please let them know which ones in here did do you like and which ones you didn't like. Uh, do you agree with my assessment or not? Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Please drop a line below, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos uh, like these or many more. And I will talk to you soon. Bye.
Hey, just in case you enjoyed this video, here are some videos and playlists that you actually might enjoy too. Also, please consider following me on social media and actually subscribe to my channel so that you stay updated with everything that happens in my software universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye.